everyone, this is Ryan from The Unobtainables. Today we're going to be taking a look at set 76052, Batman Classic TV Series Batcave. This set comes with 2,488 parts and 9 minifigures. This set was also released in 2016. This set used is about $160 and new is about $150. Now let's take a look at the manual. And this set comes with one manual. And it is a very nice manual. And it is very thick, as you can see here. And it has about 300 pages, which is a pretty nice amount. Now let's take a look at the minifigures. And this first minifigure will be Alfred. And he has some pretty nice printing here on the torso with a nice suit. And he has this really cool hair piece here. And he also has some printing on his back. And on his face, he actually has some glasses and a cool mustache. And he actually does have another face, and it's of him with a smile. and. Looking at that, that actually looked kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. But this next minifigure is Batman. And I really like this Batman. It has this really cool cloth cape, which is very soft and feels pretty nice. And he also comes with three batterings. Third one there. And he can only hold two, but gives you an extra. And he has this nice printing on his mask here. And underneath, it has this nice headband here, which actually shows the white eyes on the mask and you can see he has a sort of crooked smile and he actually does have some leg printing oh wait yeah he does have some leg printing here and it's dual molded which is a pretty neat combo and on the back you can see he has a yellow utility belt there but that's just printed and on his torso he has some more nice printing. This next minifigure will be Bruce Wayne. And he has this really nice hair. And on his torso there, you can see he has some more nice printing on his suit. And there's a tiny bit of printing on his back. And on his face, he actually has this smug kind of look. And he actually does have a kind of confused expression there. Then this next minifigure will be Catwoman. And she looks pretty nice. And she actually does come with this whip here, which is a pretty cool rubber piece. And she has some nice torso printing with some gold and gray and black and she also has some torso printing on her back and she has this really cool hair piece here which is actually dual molded for the ears and her face has a smiling expression and on the back she is not wearing a mask and she kind of has this smug expression then this next minifigure is Dick Grayson, and he has a pretty casual shirt, which looks pretty nice, and he has the same hairpiece as Bruce Wayne, but in black, and on his back he has a little bit more printing right down there, and for his face, he has this smiling face, and then... He actually has a more worried expression on his alternative face. 
Then this next minifigure will be Robin. And he actually has some printing there on his legs. This little tan here. And this is not dual molded. Kind of looks like it though. But he has some tan printing there. And then also he has some dual molded arms here with green and tan which looks actually really nice and on his torso he has the, his logo here and some more printing and he also has that same hair piece as batman and dick grayson and then under his cape you can see there's a little bit more printing right down there and he comes with this nice yellow cape and for his head he has this smiling look and on the back he has a terrified look then this next minifigure will be the joker and he looks really nice he even has some nice printing on his legs here with some stripes and on his torso it's kind of like a clown outfit and on his face he has a smile and on the back he has a ooh expression I don't know what expression that is but it's an ooh expression and his hair piece is actually the same as Alfred which is pretty nice and he actually does come with this handcuffed and um, beaker and then this next minifigure is the penguin and he actually comes with this cool umbrella it's made of this brown wand piece and this black inverted radar and he actually does have a really cool hat here in purple and he has some short legs and for his torso he has a tie and a suit. On the back, you can see that there is some more printing here. And he actually only has one face here with a nice smile. This last minifigure is the Riddler. And he has some nice colors here for his hand, which I think is lavender. And he has some of that um, color printing here on his torso and he has the question mark and another question mark on the back so that lavender printing and for his head he has this cool hair piece here and for his face he has this cool smile and here he has this um, disgusted look This set also includes a lot of accessories, including this grappling hook, and it is on this long string here. And I actually didn't tie these because I don't like tying them, but also this set includes some dynamite here, which a minifigure can actually hold by any of these slots here figure can actually hold so that's pretty nice and then this set also includes a cat that's right this set includes a cat next okay it also has this chair here and this cabinet here where it has a lot of drawers that can open and there actually isn't anything in this but I like this nugget I believe colored drawer piece and there is some lab equipment here looks like this is a you know um, I forget what they're called um, they were using all days record I don't know but there's some more in here and this drawer just closes Okay, so next we have 
this true or false machine here has a green light and a red light there on the top and right here you can see that there are two stickers and one and this side says true and has two green lights and that side says false and has two red lights and then there are some buttons and things here and then this next thing will be this little lab station and um, it has this nice table build with some wand pieces here and there are some beakers and things here and this is actually a lego magnifying piece and if you didn't know lego magnifying pieces actually work because you can see my fingerprints are enlarged there but lego magnifying glasses actually work and i really love that high quality stuff and there is a beaker on that side then this next part is this cool beaker and potion cellar whatever and has some cool colored heads here some blue and some orange and some clear now moving on to the vehicles this first vehicle will be this motorcycle with a sidecar here and this motorcycle is actually a plain motorcycle piece and of course the wheels spin and it has a yellow piece representing a light there and the minifigure can actually sit like so in there and also on the sidecar you can fit a minifigure sitting down right there so that looks pretty nice and it has a spare wheel here and the sidecar has its own wheel and there is actually this cool thing here it's like a wing piece and i think that looks really cool then this next vehicle is this helicopter and of course the rotors spin and there are these cool bat wings on the side here and this side has a green light and that side has a red light and this is actually a printed brick right here like a bat sign and you can actually fit a minifigure in there and you can like move these antenna pieces forward and back and let's just close that up real quick and there are some stickers here on the side that look pretty nice and this um, tail fin actually spins as you can see and I'm actually missing a sticker here whatever and this last vehicle will be the Batmobile or whatever and it has some pretty nice stickers on this and printed bricks and on the front you can see that it has this nice design here which makes it look pretty clean and there are some stud shooters and if you don't know how stud shooters work you can just press down on the top and they'll just fire and it actually comes with some extra studs here for extra studs to be precise and on the wheels you can see that it has some a nice wheel piece here and a nice bat printed brick and i think that looks pretty nice and then here you can see there's this fancy um thing here and there are these um windshield pieces here i guess and then i haven't watched any of the show but um there's this thing it says um emergency bat turn lever i guess you can turn that if you want but there's a steering wheel here there's also a phone inside of there which looks pretty nice and over here there is a detectoscope i have no clue what that is but it's there there's these nice sticker pieces here that's on both sides and then this piece actually can be rotated forward a lot forward side to side to get an angle there 
And right here, there's, the, there's this exhaust pipe and an antenna. And this piece actually lifts up and you can store some things in there. And there's another exhaust pipe here and I think this looks really nice. Then for the buildings, we have this first building here and it has a spot for all the vehicles and you can actually put this Batmobile into here and it fits not the best but it'll work or you can fit the motorcycle thing in here like so and on the top there is a bat helipad and you can just put down the helicopter on there and on the front you can see that there is some nice bats and rock design here which looks pretty cool and in this bottom area there's some like rubble here which i think is a nice add-on and this side is actually the same as this side i believe except for this piece and this piece and then this next building is the radioactive atomic pile and i think this is a nuclear reactor and there's some nice control panels here in the front and you can have a minifigure stand there if you want but there is some nice rock here and there's a cool overhang and some bats of course because it's the bat cave and over here there is some utilities and you can take these out if you want but there are some nice stickers here some nice printed bricks too and here there's actually some more and there's a lot of those and they just come out and the same thing on the other side there are some different ones there is this one which has like another window or something on there and then this next one it's like some sort of radar and then these last two are like um, computer things and they have this cool thing on the top with a printed thing and here you can see there is a very intricate build with these all pointing towards the center and in the middle you can see that there is this cool design here with some gold, orange, and some printed bricks, and that's the same all the way to the back, and there's this hole inside, as you can see, and you can actually just throw the dynamite in there, I guess, like it's going to explode it or something, and I actually wish that for these two builds, they did the same thing as this larger one, where it's a city building on the back, and then it's the back cave, because I really like that one. Then for this final build, it has a nice exterior, and a really nice dark orange color here, which you don't see that often. And there are some nice plants here. And the, for these windows, it looks really nice. And you can see there's like some curtains. And it's really textured and finished. And here you can actually see there, it's so detailed, there's even a gutter. And this is textured all the way up to the top. And there's this little um, antenna. And up here, you can see that there are some nice parrot statues or bird statues. And in this area here, you can actually have a cat just stand up there. If you want, you can even put a minifigure, like Batman's watching over the city. Whee! That totally didn't fall. But on the other side, there is this interior spot. 
and there's lots of details here including a desk with some nice stickers on these pieces and it's like um an investigation here and a phone and a nice statue and as you can see this actually flips up and there's like a little button here and right here there are some trophies and on the other side there's one more larger trophy and there's this actually it spin but there's this nice globe here and i think it's cool that that's the actual um continents on there and there is these two paintings here i believe that's bruce wayne's mom and dad but i'm not sure and there are some nice candles and there's also this fish and there's this nice bookcase and you can actually slide this here and there is a secret door and it has Bruce and Dick's name up there and you can actually access this area through the back and this actually all lifts up if you want to maybe put a minifigure here or something but that's pretty cool and going down lower into the back cave you can see that there's lots of that and a nice rock here all along the edge and on the side there are some more bats and rocks even at the top here and there's like some stalactites and there's actually this nice area here where you can see that there is some of these things and what you can actually do is these spin when they go down but there is one flaw with this in that um sometimes if you do anything heavier like you go like that this part will spin instead of this spinning all the way down but if you put a minifigure on this there's this handle right here and you can just make them go like that all the way down and you can put Batman and Robin on both of these and that looks really nice there and if you want a side view you can see that if you bring this all the way to the top and then you can just let it go it's been all the way to the bottom and that's a pretty cool feature and one thing really quickly is these nice printed bricks here and you can see there's a nice flower pattern on there and they match up nicely these are all one by fours one by four bricks and that's on both sides it includes a decent number of these and here you can see that there is a feature here where this yellow thing here you can just flip that down and then you can have a big figure just right down and i hope you enjoyed this is ryan from the unobtainables don't forget to like and subscribe see you all next time bye